Welcome to Kennedy Now, a look at some of the recent accomplishments and changes underway at America's premier spaceport. Kennedy Space Center started the new year with the thunder and fire of three liftoffs in about four weeks. SpaceX capped the mission succession when a Falcon 9 rocket catapulted away from the Space Launch Complex 40 on March 1st, sending a cargo-laden Dragon capsule on a course to resupply the International Space Station. Kennedy's commitment to the station reaches beyond launch specialties. Technicians working inside the specialized facilities at Kennedy packed about 1,200 pounds of experiments, supplies, and equipment to withstand the launch and ascent inside the SpaceX Dragon. Workers at Kennedy also loaded equipment for a supply flight that will start later this year in Japan. The material will fly inside an HTV launching to the orbiting station. Kicking off the 2013 launch schedule, a communication satellite rode into orbit atop an Atlas V on January 31st. Called Tedris K, the spacecraft was built specifically for NASA's unique needs to stay in contact with the station and the agency's fleet of scientific spacecraft. On February 11th, teams from Kennedy converged on California to oversee the flawless countdown and launch of a cutting-edge spacecraft that will continue to collect data about Earth's changing conditions. The Landsat Data Continuity Mission Satellite, to be renamed Landsat 8, soared on the strength of an Atlas V booster, a rocket that is fast becoming the agency's workhorse. With new resupply rockets, spacecraft and cargo already taking shape for launch this year from Kennedy, along with a new mission to Mars called MAVEN, there will be no shortage of fresh thunder rocking America's premier spaceport in 2013. That's Kennedy Now.